During his recent visit to the Indian Space Research Organization, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the names of two lunar landing sites where Chandrayaan-3 landed and Chandrayaan-2 had crash-landed. These were the Shiv Shakti Point and Tiranga Point. Shiv Shakti derives its name from Hindu mythology. The name is meant to highlight the intrinsic connection between humanitarian determination and the concept of Shiva. ISRO chief K. Somanath has said that the country has every right to name the landing site and that India has named several sites on the Earth's natural satellite. Somanath said that Shiv Shakti represents a combination of man and woman, the contribution of women in ISRO and the need to create that kind of synergy in the organization. The moon does not come under any country's jurisdiction, making global exploration and landing missions possible. In 1966, the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs came out with the Outer Space Treaty. Setting some common principles for space exploration, the treaty said in its Article 2 that outer space, including the moon and other celestial bodies, is not subject to national appropriation by claim of sovereignty. The treaty, however, makes no mention of naming sites on the moon. The European Space Agency also states that a nation can place a flag on the moon. Yes, the International Astronomical Union that India is also a part of stipulates that the name for planetary objects should be simple, clear and unambiguous and should not duplicate existing names. It also says that no names having political, military or religious significance may be used, except for names of political figures prior to the 19th century. Further, commemoration of persons on planetary bodies should not normally be a goal in itself, but may be employed in special circumstances. Persons being so honoured must have been deceased for at least three years before a proposal may be submitted. Following the 2008 mission Chandrayaan-1, a spot where the probe crashed as it was meant to for the purpose of the mission, was christened Jawahar Sthal after the first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. According to G. Madhavan Nair, the head of ISRO from 2003 to 2009, then Indian President and former ISRO scientist Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam had asked for making a symbolic note of India reaching the moon. Along with the Indian flag depicted on the moon impact probe carried by the spacecraft, he proposed naming the impact site after Nehru. It was on his birthday the landing was made and he had long advocated for scientific developments and research in India. The IAU later accepted it, making it official. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's making plans for an early retirement. Business Standard